Hi hey folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to drive the visibility in the assembly mode and then directly in the drawing mode. I would like to open some subassembly, so if I will select subassembly, you can see here that in the model tree is a couple of components. So you can simply to jump in the layer tree and you can see that I have a couple of layers. It's possible to drive visibility by layer, so I will show you right now how it's possible to create new layer and you can specify the 3D model hidden. For example, it will be like name here. And if you will create this layer, you can set layer properties. So because I come from OK, sorry. And for example, you will you would like to drive the visibility of couple of components. So if you will select components from the subassembly, the system asks you if you would like to select that object place the current layer. So yes, of course, I'd like to place it here. And for example, we would like to hide the additional components. Again, the system can recognize if it is directly from the main assembly or subassembly. So I will place the component to current layer. What does it mean if I will come from OK? You see that all layers are hidden and if I would like to hide this component in the assembly, I will hide these objects. If I would like to visualize it, you can simply unhide. So, or show, yeah. And what does it mean? That is really easy to drive visibility by layer. And I'd like to reuse this functionality in the drawing. I'd like to show you more. So if I will jump to the model tree, you know that if you need to hide components for a while, you can select object and use function hide. Right now I will hide the components without the functionality of the layer. So the system will hide the object, we can say somewhere in the model tree. You can use the undo, so control Z, or you can select under the component and select high. Again, in the menu, it's possible to use the functionality show all. So if you would like to find any the feature, you can use the functionality over here in right top corner. So it's really easy to use. And system will show you where the menu is or where it is stored. OK, so for now, you know how to hide component in the assembly. If you will hide object in the assembly, doesn't change the information in the bill of material. And what does it mean? I think the best example will be if I will show you directly in the drawing. So I will jump right now into drawing. I will create new drawing and we can specify name. For example, frame, yeah, and some name. And I don't want to use the template for now. So we will use standard, for example, A2 size so without a frame and we can specify what kind of representation you would like to open and see you know that it's possible to specify the general view so use the functionality specify general view and spin the model so for example detail one it's orientation if i will come from okay then it's necessary to change scale and 0 0.2 i think that will be good enough for this example over here right now you can see that I can see everything in this view. Maybe I can move this view a little bit and I will create new general view. Yeah. And orientation is OK. And over here, for example, view display, I will change the visibility with shading and edges. Yeah. And right now you can see that I can see everything. So it was reason that I have had a lot of um, features hidden in the assembly mode. And again, like you know, from the previous tutorial, you can specify the visibility of the layer and work over here directly. So right now you can see that all my layers are visible because my configuration and preferences are set. That is different visibility of the layers are us in the assembly. If you would like to know more, please check the previous tutorial. For now, I will hide all layers, but not this one. Yeah, so I will hide this one. And you can see that simple. If I will refresh, the system will reuse the visibility only what I really need. So same as on the 3D model. So for now, my visibility of the components are driven by a layer. 
For now, I'd like to show you that, again, you can specify two different visibility of the view or for a whole assembly, what is stored or what is used in the drawing. You see that if I will hide everything, the system will sh hide or show me how it was hidden by a layer. But, for example, I'd like to manage this visibility of this 3D model only in one view. So you can select this arrow, and if you will select this arrow, the system asks you which view would like to manage. So, for example, over here in this view, I'd like to manage the visibility of the layer differently. So over here, I will select everything, and I will hide the layers in this view. And you can see right now that in this view, the 3D model, the frame and part of yeah, this one, is hidden and over here is visible. So you can specify the visibility of the component separately and you need to only select this arrow. Or you can simply change the name, for example, view01, yeah, and if I will come from OK, then you can see in the drop down menu here that you have view01 and then the system will specify only this view. But not necessary, yeah. So again, you can specify and change and modify. I'd like to show you more. So for example, okay, we can reuse the view visibility and hide again all necessary information here. So for example, I will use the same logic. Great. And now I'd like to show you that if you have a view, again, you can hide the information in the assembly uh, and additional functionality in Creo. If we would like to see the bill of material and the changes, what is here, I will create new table. So I will create table and specification, for example, will be like this. And we will create quickly the repeat region. So I will create repeat region and over here will be RPT index over here will be RPT Q2I, how many it is, and assembly member name. Yeah, and you can see here, for example, assembly member type. Yeah, for example. So everything is ready in the table, and if I will update table, you can see all components are visible. You know that in the repeat region it's possible to specify the attributes and for example no duplicate level and flat is okay. So we can try to use it like this and we will see only the same information as are used in the model tree. Yeah. So right now if I will hide anything you can see that the frame is always visible here in the model tree or in the bill of material. So what does it mean? I'd like to continue with hiding of the information. And for example, I'd like to work with the component display. So you can use the component display and doesn't matter if this component is in the layer or not. So if you will select the component display, you can set the, for example, functionality blank, yeah, because you would like to hide the object and you can select which object will be hidden. So you can specify, for example, these three objects I like to hide. So I can confirm and right now I don't care if the objects are stored or placed in the layer or not. I like to hide these components here. And again, about the below material, nothing is changed. These components are hidden in only this view. You can see here it's still visible. Again, you can continue the component display, for example, blank, and I like to blank or hide this additional object because I are not necessary to see. And again, the system will hide. And if you would like to unhide, please use the component display, use the unblank and set in which view. And then you can select confirm. Yeah, because the system will show you that which components are possible to unblank. Sorry, I'm speaking and then it's not possible to <laughs> select this component. So you can confirm and the system will show these components for you. Yeah, 
And again here, if you would like to unblank, so pick view, the system will show you which components you would like to show. And for example, I'd like to show only this component and the another one will be hidden. So great. So you can really easy dry the visualization of the component display by menu component display. So what you have seen today in this video tutorial, we have created the visualization of the layer directly on the assembly mode. So you can jump in the layer tree and create new custom layer and play the component and then specify the visibility directly in the drawing by selection of the view and specify what kind of the layers you would like to see in current or selected view. You can specify a different visibility for different views and, uh, and then quickly we have created the bill of material and then after I have explained to you how it's possible to show or hide the component display and it's independent based on the layer visibility. I hope so that you like this example and tutorial. Please leave me a comment, question, ID for next tutorials and donate me or buy me a coffee. Thank you guys. Bye.